Creating lightsabers is super fun and super awesome because it's Star Wars. And who doesn't like lightsabers? So today, we're going to be creating lightsabers in Photoshop. And I'm going to show you how we do that. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. It's about to get raw. It's about to get real. It's from Raw to Real with Ryan. First off, I just want to say that it's 2020, and I'm really glad that I named this series From Raw to Real, because it's definitely getting raw and real right now. Um, I'm in my kitchen setting, which I'm sure you can see a tiny bit of, and my kids are right here next to me. Um, I've been trying to think of, I've been trying to think of like a good time for me to do this, when they're asleep or maybe when they're over at their Nana's house. And I just kind of figured, hey, it's 2020 and it's raw and it's real. Let's just go with it. I mean, I'm a photographer and a dad and they're both kind of 24 hour jobs. So this is probably how they're gonna be from now on. I'm probably gonna be doing this. Kids are probably gonna be running back and forth. You'll probably see them. You'll probably hear them. So it is what it is. <laughs> And that's my wife, so and we work right next to each other. So this is probably what the setup's gonna be like for a little while at least. So let's get into it. So here is our image in Photoshop and you can tell I've already got most of it done. So I'm just kind of going through and showing you some of the layers. There's a lot of layers there. Wow. Okay, so basically what I wanna do is I just wanna kind of show you what I did and show you guys how you can recreate it. So this is the light beam or lightsaber, whatever you want to call it. So if I toggle it on and off, you can kind of see, there it is, there's, there it's not. It's on, off, add your little sound effect there. All right, so on this layer, if you double click on this layer, you can see I've got two main things going for me right here. I've got the outer glow and an inner glow. All right, this outer glow, is set to screen, it's at 100%. You can kind of pick your colors here. So basically we can make it blue, we can make it green, we could do really whatever, make her a Sith, all that kind of fun stuff. But I've also got an inner glow, if I double click, well actually, yeah, there we go. I've got an inner glow and it's set opacity to 75% at linear light. Uh, and again, we can go in, change this color to whatever color we want. If we wanted to go red with the linear light, go to outer glow, also do red. We can make it like a Sith lightsaber, make it really, really cool. So I'm gonna cancel out of that real quick and just create a new layer real quick. We'll call it new lightsaber beam. If we hit our B hotkey for brush, it'll pull up our brush tool. If we paint with white, make sure you got white selected there. And I'm just gonna hold the shift key and make a straight line like that that's one way you can do it now this if you right click the hardness is at zero percent now you can try one say at like 50 percent we'll just do another one right up here so you can kind of see the different layers of hardness here and then do one at 100 percent and this is really just kind of show you what happens when we use the settings that we're about to use so if we go back into this layer double click go to out if you click on outer glow double click on that you can go into the color settings right here click on that now I wanted like a piercing type of blue so like I really went with this deep blue color here just went all the way up to the top right hit OK now you can see the opacity is at 35 I'm going to crank that up to 100% you can start to see it real faintly over here and this is where you get to play around with some of the settings on the side you get to play with either the spread which kind of makes it a little bit bigger the size which will kind of make it bigger but fade it out a little bit you know you can do the same thing here with spread and then the range which also kind of fades in real nicely as well so really you can just kind of play with those three little sliders to kind of get the effect that you want and let's just say that we're good at this level right here we'll just say that's good and then if we go over here to interglow click that box double click on it we can change this color. I'm going to go with a little bit of a lighter tone, like a lighter 
tealish blue. It's gonna crank it up to the top right there, hit okay. Then we'll change that blending mode to linear light. And really what that does is that it just kind of give, it gives a little bit of separation between the white and the blue, like this will fade in. Like a, because if blue was naturally fading into white, it wouldn't just be like a clean cut. It would kind of have this, you know, fade into a lighter blue. And that's kind of what a, the look I, I want to go for there. And so you can play around with the, the choke, play around with the size, which we don't want to do it too much. The range, you might want to bring it down just a tiny bit, but then the opacity, you can crank it up. And really, if you want to, you can crank it up to 100% just so you can see what you're doing. And then if you want to tone it down some, you can. See, I like that, but I, I, want, I want it to be a little bit less. So let's go down to like 70, 75% or something like that. And there you have it. You just hit OK. And there's our lightsaber effect right there. And I normally kind of like to do it at that 50%, that middle harshness, because that way it's still kind of soft. It's not, it's, if you zoom in and check it out, you can see how crisp that is. And we don't want that. We, we don't want it to look like blurry and faded out. So I kind of have it right there at that 50% hardness for your brush. Uh, so that, in essence, is how we create a lightsaber. And once you do that, uh, I'll delete that layer for just a moment. And so uh, with this layer here, you can double click on that. Again, once you've created that, if you ever want to change the colors, you just go back into your inner and outer glow and say if we want to do red and make it very sith like you know we can go for full-blown red for the outer glow but whatever your inner glow is you want it to be just like a, a slightly less version of that so you don't want it to be the same red you want it to be a little bit more of an orange so wherever uh, on the color wheel you are you want it to be the lighter version of that color so see that orange kind of makes it look a little bit more of like a fiery red you know, like if we went with, um, let's say, if we went green, very Return of the Jedi, you know, Star Wars green, you could go here with that green, and then on the inner glow, maybe go, uh, you could try the teal, but I think it might be cooler to maybe go a little bit of a yellowish, you know? So whichever lighter version, you know, if it's the teal blue or if it's the, uh, yellow you can kind of go in that direction and it kind of works for you know most any other color as well so that is in summary how we create lightsabers in photoshop hey everyone thanks for watching this video please make sure that you like subscribe and share this video with your friends don't forget to hit the notification button so you can stay up to date on all of my latest videos be sure to leave a comment on what you'd like to see me work on next hope to see you guys next time and again thanks for watching